I'm not really a console gamer. Gave up after the regular Nintendo passed on. A teenager with an Xbox would call Tyler Arnold a dinosaur. He's okay with that. Nostalgia, uh, a lost environment. This old gamer's an arcade man. They're all over the place, and now they're few and far between. So uh, I feel stepping into the arcade room, especially with all these screens on all at one time, uh, definitely offers a, a buzz to the air. This collection, Star Wars memorabilia, vintage movie posters, games, toys, it's a result of a lifetime of care and dedication diligently saved allowance money, and almost a decade ago, a once-in-a-lifetime find. Tyler and his brother Tim came across a massive collection of arcade games. A warehouse worker was crushing dozens of classics with a small tractor. I don't want to say, like, panic, but that moment when you realize that something you care about, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. The Arnolds rescued the goods and for years stored them, but they always wanted to share their passion. Now, the former Free Methodist Church is that space, but it wasn't that simple. Zoning laws only allow this building to be a home or... To assemble there, it has to be a church. We kind of just went, yeah, we can, we can roll with that. I mean, why not use these games to get people together? The Jedi Alliance was born. We're not here to make a business out of this. Um, it's really not a business. Every Sunday at 5 p.m., the gift shop opens, the lights turn on, and for a small donation, you can game all night, no quarters needed. And as if the story behind this place wasn't cool enough already, get this, the way Tyler Arnold actually bought the building was by selling an official Johnny Ramones guitar. $71,000 later, he had a home for the Jedi Alliance. A 501c3, this is a church, but the Arnolds do pay taxes. This isn't about getting around rules, or making money. Getting together with other people and making actual connections, it seems to be missing. I asked Tyler, why not keep this house of worship open more than just on Sunday? And the simple answer is because it wouldn't force people to get together. Um, if you could come at your convenience, there might be four, five, ten people in one day versus on a Sunday where we'll have 50 people here all at one time and uh, they're making connections, making new friendships. Who's to say the Jedi Alliance isn't a church? If you ask Tyler Arnold, there's no place more sacred. Any Spokane. Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.